The elbow joint is a very unique joint because it, it, it has a plane of motion and flexion extension as well as a rotational where you have to rotate your palm up and down. Um, and so reconstruction of injuries to the elbow can be challenging simply because of the complex anatomy of the elbow. Um, so that's another area of expertise of mine. I have a, um, uh, have a significant portion of my practice with, with elbow surgery. And then that really includes um, elbow instability. Uh, for example, in a throwing athlete, somebody who has a collateral ligament tear in a throwing athlete, you've all probably heard of Tommy John injury um, uh, from a pitcher, for example. Um, but also even for an elbow dislocation from a trauma. You fall, dislocate the elbow, you can end up ripping all the ligaments in the elbow and, and plus get a fracture. Um, and so those a lot of times need to be fixed. It's not unusual after trauma to the elbow for them to develop what, what we call heterotopic ossification. And what that means is there's bone forms in the muscle or in the soft tissues as opposed to just the bone healing. Uh, and that bone can be very limiting to motion. It can significantly block especially what we call flexion extension. And so um, we have a, I have a very significant experience in treating that and restoring range of motion. And we have very good success in, in excising this extra bone that's in the muscle, in the capsule, in the soft tissues to restore range of motion of the elbow after trauma. Um, now, total elbow replacement is another area um, that uh, we focus on um, for people who have very bad arthritis of the elbow. Uh, that's typically people who have rheumatoid arthritis, but certainly um, uh, there can be other reasons for it as well. Uh, and, and total elbow replacement is, a, again, a very powerful um, intervention to take away pain and restore range of motion in somebody who has end-stage elbow arthritis. So another intervention that we find to be very useful in the elbow is elbow arthroscopy, and um, where we can treat a multitude of conditions through arthroscopy. And again, it's very similar to the shoulder. We make small incisions around the elbow, put a camera in, make another small incision um, to put our instruments in, and we can treat conditions, for example, arthritic conditions where there's loose bodies floating in the elbow, and, and that's limiting motion or causing pain. Uh, conditions where there's simply there's a loss of motion and we can release the tight tissue to restore range of motion. Um, and, th and that's a very effective way of treating um, elbow conditions without making a large incision. Um, the elbow arthroscopy, of course, is an outpatient procedure for the most part. Um, you come in, have the surgery done, and go home. Minimally invasive um, and, and, and like any other arthroscopic procedure, minimizes trauma to uh, intact tissue and we can just really get right to the area that's involved and treat that directly. I, I think elbow injuries um, are best treated um, by a team approach. There's no question about that because they're complex injuries. They require expertise um, from the surgeon, require expertise from the therapist, require expertise in anesthesia and these are all critical um, uh, aspects and I don't, you know that we have to be in an in a, in a environment that is used to taking care of these complex injuries um, and that can uh, um, maximize uh, the outcome. Uh, and I think what that's what University of Maryland offers. University of Maryland offers expertise in, in all the different facets that are really, in my mind, mandatory to, to obtain um, good, predictable results in, in what really is a fairly complex joint.